Hi everybody, this is the configuration I made to use Reaper with live sequences. Two, Here's three, playback. Four. And there are two views, either this live view or the edit view. And then you can freak your region. Then when you hit the enter key, at the end of the measure it goes there. You can obviously loop regions, pre-q places, and then on the left, this is the playlist manager, which is very important. This was made for me by MPL on the Reaper forum, so thank you very much, Michael. But through the years, I really uh, I learned to script and I uh, changed it a lot to better fit my needs. So this is what it has become. At the top, you have the, the playlist name, the current RPL that's loaded. And then this first tab is only audio routing. So all the other tabs are sending the audio to this tab. And this tab is the communication from Reaper to the outside world. You can go from one song to another, change your list. And whenever a project is uh, dirty, then you have this little star there telling you so. You can save playlist, open playlist, projects, and all type of stuff. There are two uh, separate toolbars that I've set up. One is for tempos. Are we so this is tempo edit mode, so you can make it faster. Make it slower, offset it. Bring it back. And then the same thing with pitch. You can pitch it up, pitch it down, reset to original, set it to a value, reset to original. Yeah, so that's about it. I also have a whole bunch of uh, action markers that are set up and I've made a mode for auto stop. So you can set the auto stop there and it will stop there. This is not an action marker. This is a, a mode that I've made. So yeah, so that's about it. So uh, be on the lookout for it. It's coming soon. I'm currently uh, in the final uh, testing phases. And uh, hopefully I'll be able to get it to uh, whoever would like to use it pretty soon. Bye.